I got a letter again from her attorney, O.G. Ellington, saying that I am trespassing, that I must get off the land, and that the contract that was made was revoked, and that I am no part of that contract. Well, I said I will not get off because, yes, I am part of that contract, because the contract states that unless the, the gentleman, Mr. Miller, dies or refuses to live on the premises, then whenever he being dead, his family should be um, evacuated immediately. And he is still living. So since he is still living, well then I still have a right to be here because I am his wife for 50 years. And so she didn't like the idea that I didn't come out. So she came, she came like um, two weeks ago and told my husband that she will lock the gate. So I told my kid, just let's talk. We don't know what will happen. So just let's talk. And we started to pack. But while we were packing, 2.30 to the Sunday, the other sister, Velda, she come and she put a padlock. She brought her husband with her and she came out the vehicle and put the padlock on the gate. Put a chain and put a padlock. So then we couldn't get out. None at all. So then I called the police. I called them for like three hours on and off, on and off. They said they are changing shifts and that they will come. When they come, they said they will go and talk to Velda to open the padlock so that he could come out because I have three persons in my home that is sick. I have my husband with dementia. I have a disabled child for eight years. She doesn't walk. She just crawl along. And I have a daughter of the earth. She had was needed to come out early morning to, to go to go to Ali Dock for dialysis at one o'clock. And the gate is locked. So the police said they will go and explain that to her. She went there and they went and they told her and they came back and I said, Miss Harry, we cannot do nothing about it because the lady says she is not going to, to lose the lock and that the land is hers and she could do what she wants. I said, well, okay, so we just stayed in. Our neighbors brought us food over the phone and water because the little that we had over the weekend was finished. And so um, I went to sleep and I got up the morning three o'clock and decided, well, something has to be done. So I got on, on Facebook and I just posted this video and said what was happening to us. Well, the morning, 7 o'clock, 7.30, between 7 and 7.30, the officer came, the CEO, Mr. Sanchez, and he cut the lock from the door outside and let us out. Said, well, we have to go.